right, so here she is, one of the more prolific kickboxers to cross into the UFC in some time. She might kick harder than you will. Oh, yeah, she does kick so hard. I mean, you look at the videos. The videos are all out there, and you watch this young lady landing these brutal leg kicks on the bag, landing the high kicks, the body kicks. It's, it's unreal to watch someone of this stature able to land and be as physical as she is. She's so aggressive in her approach. She's so comfortable in such tight confines that her opponents usually panic because they can't understand, as we can, how she could be okay when she's under duress as she is. I asked her to kick me in the leg at our fighter meeting on Thursday, and as you see, I'm still limping. So she packs some power, and her opponent better be ready for it here tonight. So here's the former UFC strawweight queen, Thug Rose Namajunas. She's a very interesting individual, DC, because as much as she is a lifelong martial artist and loves to train, there's something about fight night and all of the accompanying emotions that she really doesn't care for. Yeah, she doesn't love it all that much, but she loves the preparation for getting in the octagon, and once she arrives there, she usually will give her best self. She's a fantastic striker, Showed that in the second Nama Yunus fight, right. but don't forget about all the submissions that she had from her time on the Ultimate Fighter, her time in Invicta, all the way to becoming the striker that we saw knock out Jan Jacek to win the UFC title. When she is at her best, as she was in that first round against Jessica oh. Andrade, most people believe that she is still the best strawweight in the world. She will try to prove it again here tonight. Another big spot for Thug Rose Nama Yunus. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Macy, the future horror! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Fog Rose Navayunas! Herb Dean, our third Ready man fight? in the octagon for this Ready. one. Good. All right, Thug Rose Namajunas ready to go here. Round one, Trevor Whitman firmly in her corner and might be a little bit of a feeling out process here tonight. She's not afraid to see what's coming back before registering her attack. Rose Namajunas in another big one tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. How in the world are these two women still standing? She lands a kick to the body now. All right, so a really take down by the BJJ fighter on her first attempt. And on the other side, she looks like she's never wrestled in her life. <laughs> John Anik, that is my goodness. Just call it like I see She's going to be mad at you. She's going to be mad at you whenever she sees you at the hotel. But the reality is she's got to do better. She has got to defend more effectively if she wants a chance to win this fight. By her there. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. Piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. So before her opponent can reset, she doubles up on the jab. She does a fantastic job of popping that jab, fight behind it. But now, 
She's finding so much success that she's landing double jab. Beautiful job getting those hands up. We march on three minutes to go. Nama Yunus gets caught by the inside leg kick. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect, though. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. Looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. Arms in deep. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Oh, that looks tight and painful. She is going to rip her arm off if she does the tap. Oh, she got out! Oh, my goodness. What a display of submission defense by this young lady. <laughs> All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back. And she could do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as an Abby Boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Nice transition. Oh, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling ground battle. The athletes make their way back to the field. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is appreciating the high-level ground exchanges that they just experienced. Oh, nice kick. All right, so some adversity for her here. It looks like she has been opened up around that arm. Anything worth having will not be easy. But she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on it. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Under a minute now to go. Oh, her strike landed cleanly there. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Oh, nice. Another takedown attempt, not there. Oh, she countered with a straight left land in every bit of that one. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Great volume. A beautiful combo lands up top. Oh, looks as though that right eye might be starting to shut. Yes, it is. Oh! Oh, she hurt bad! Oh, uppercut. Oh, both. Both landed. Oh! Oh! Saved by the bell. That marks the end of the round, and we'll see if she can recover from getting stunned by that huge shot just before the horn. Of course, you know she's only got 60 seconds here with which to recover. They'll get her on the stool. Physically, she's compromised. Mentally, can they keep her in this fight? All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of there. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going through Ready. another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually that's enough to end the fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. Oh, the kick landed. Oh, Trevor Whitman's got to like that. Beautiful combination from Rose Namajunas. Rose Namajunas is so solid. I mean, she's so good with her footwork. She knows how to set traps. She's a phenomenal striker and one of the best female fighters in the UFC's history. Defense held up there. She blocks that shot. All right, so a pretty interesting development here in terms of this fighter's evolution. Just as we saw in the last round, primarily a jiu-jitsu athlete, having a lot of success with her striking team. Well, you can see it from the moment she came off the court. She was confident. She told us she would not chase takedowns. She felt like she was even better in the striking. And to this point, she has proven exactly that. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments. And her... Oh! Well, we could 
be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into this fight. It will be on her once again land one of those punches to try to knock her off this time. Oh, nasty cut on her nose. She is fauceting blood now. Oh, beautiful slip by her there. She seems to have this acute awareness of not where the strike is being thrown necessarily, but where it's going to end up. Where it's going to end up, she knows where she does not need to be. So when her opponent throws right at the chin, she moves very slightly to avoid those strikes. If she stands still, she will eat a ton of damage. She will take a ton of damage because she is never aware her opponent's intent for her to be. All right, so just as we say, oh. Inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice job by her there to block that shot. Back to the feet now. Oh, she landed again. That is a high fight IQ to continue to attack that cut. That's bleeding everywhere now. Everywhere. You know, we love smart fighters. This young lady is as smart as they come. She will not abandon this approach. She knows that it's working, and she can see the work paying dividends by looking at her opponent's face and seeing the concern every time she lands it. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Beautiful. Well, she has... There it is again. Look at that. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, great block there. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Under a minute now to go. Sidekick is true. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown do? Switch kick. Oh my goodness, what a kick! 30 seconds left, let's go, let's fight hard! Straight punch, that is useful. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Now right here Final seconds here. Oh, nice takedown defense. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there is the horn. So we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to sleep. Fighter blocks a punch. 
Naba Yunus gets caught with that punch. She got that kick to the body home. The takedown is not there. Fighter lands a jab. Well, without even looking at those stats bottom of your screen, you know that the most significant strike in this fight has been to the body. It has been there for her all night long. She knew coming into this fight that she didn't... Oh! Finish, 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 finish. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Thug Rose goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, she ain't cocky, but she is confident, and why not? Big knockdown in the previous round. She appears to have the striking advantage. She's doing everything right. That's what led her to getting that knockdown to finish the earlier round. Oh, she continues to punish the body yet again here, just as she did in the previous round. Nama Yunus going for the body. Missed with that kick. Three minutes to go in round three. While Nama Yunus' eye is closing up. She's going back to the jab. Oh, the wheel kick connects. Impressive. Great job getting to her position, right into that single collar. Huge knee land. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Oh, she did it again. Targeting that swell large enough. I mean, why not? It, it, it's worked, and it's worked beautifully. She's done everything correct in this fight, and she really has pulled ahead. We might get a stoppage here. Oh, landing some big shots, too. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively, she has done an outstanding job of that. She could not do it any better up to this point. Man, that eye looks so swollen now, you've got to wonder whether or not she's dealing with a fractured orbital. Nama Yunus's kick is blocked. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you, are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage getting between rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really light her up now. Nice positional control here. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Oh, right into Mo. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You oh cannot God. allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and getting back to your feet. All right, an interesting 60 seconds now between rounds as the round comes to an end. And of course, we're talking about that cut on her cheek. If that thing gets any worse, you gotta think they're gonna stop the fight. Location is fine, but the blood flow is not. 
man, it looks like you could slide a half dollar right into that gash on her cheek. Better to be there than above the eye, but not a great look either way. Absolutely, and Ready, just fight. a visual Ready. of that cut Ready. at the end of the fight is not a good thing. She was a little bit lax in her defense, and she ultimately paid for it. And how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Finish it. Finish it. Oh, man. I don't even like looking at this anymore. She is bleeding like crazy. At some point, you gotta think they call in the doctor, well, you, no? You can even see her opponent looking at him. Like, yeah. My goodness, what is it gonna take right. for you to kind of tap out, be done with it? Oh! Let's get it to Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Thug Rose Namayunas! All right, so what an effort tonight as we congratulate Thug Rose Namayunas. It's hard to just say Rose Namayunas without the Thug Rose. It's become her calling, and she was at her thuggish best tonight. Another big victory for Rose Namajunas as she continues to add to a great legacy in this division. Every time she fights and you got a microphone, you know what the people want to hear. They want to hear the thug Rose. Man, that was one of the greatest nights that I've ever experienced as Rose became the champion. And tonight, she gets another big victory. Congratulations to Rose Namajunas.